on the theta360.guide form, our software development intern, Eric Rod1, wrote two articles on using different mobile applications on Android to test the Rico Theta X. So he wrote this great article on HTTP request shortcuts and this other article on using Tasker to automate the tasks. So the HTTP request shortcuts is free and you can install it and it's great to test the API of the camera. And this Tasker is 349 uh, and it, it can be used to schedule the tasks in sequence and we'll be taking another look at this thing in the future. So it's relatively cheap, um, but I think you, know, you want to make sure that you're getting some value for your money here. First, connect the Pixel 2 that I'm using to the Rico Theta camera as a hotspot. The password is the numerical digits of the serial number. Go back to HTTP shortcuts, press the plus button to open up a new HTTP shortcut, and we're going to name it Theta Info. And the description is just so you can find it again. The info is one of the few get commands. We're going to use a basic request. There's no S in the HTTP, so make sure you delete that S. And the endpoint for all the API commands when the camera is in access point mode is 192.168.1.1. In this case, because it's a get, we're just going to drop down OSC info. There's no body. Uh, there's no queries on this one. Press the back button of the app, then press the play button, and the command executes to the Rico Theta X. You can see that I'm using the Rico Theta X firmware 1.41. I'm going to create another regular HTTP shortcut. This one will be the simplest post, which is to get the state of the camera. I'm going to call the shortcut state and put uh, some type of description to remind me what this command does. And it's going to be another basic request with no headers are needed right now. It's a post command. Remember to delete the S from the HTTP endpoint. The endpoint is the same for all the commands, 192.168.1.1. We're going to go slash OSC. And in this case, it's going to be state and not info. And let's go back and can try to play it. Press that little arrow in the upper left hand, then press the play button, and boom, we're going to get the state of the camera, including the latest file URL and the battery state. By following these steps, the non-developer can use the full set of API commands. We're going to take a look at the uh, Rico API documentation which is on github and they've moved it into this theta api specs the version we're using is v2.1 web api 2.1 let's first check out the overview and the overview has the content type for the header go to the http shortcuts create a new regular http shortcut and we're going to set up the request headers for this one the header that we're using will be the content type. So you can just copy and paste it from the reference documentation on the Rico GitHub repo. So we're going to take the content type, no colon. It's just content hyphen type without the colon. And then we're going to input the value here, which is application JSON. We can go back to the documentation to copy it. So no colon again, application hyphen slash JSON, semicolon, caraset equals UTF hyphen eight. So we just paste it in, press OK, and now we have the header set up for our HTTP request. So 
So the shortcut that we're going to create is to take a picture. So I'll just apply a name for it, which will be take picture and apply a description to make sure that we can find it again. The method is post as it is with almost all the API commands to the Ricoh Theater camera. Delete the S from the HTTP. Apply the base endpoint 192.168.1.1 and the base command here is osc slash commands slash execute. Take picture has a body of the HTTP post request. So we're going to set up the body next. We'll set up the content type of application JSON again. And the body will be camera dot take picture. But we need to put this in a JSON format. So we're going to refer back to the API documentation, put in some left and right curly brackets, and also the name. First, go to the API documentation and click on the camera.takePicture. And there's not much here. But if you look at the commands execute, you can see that the body will be normal JSON. So you need the left and right curly brackets. The first uh, property is name so that's in double quotes there's a colon after the string and the next string is camera dot take pictures and that's it once we have the body of the HTTP request set up we can go back press the play button and it's taking a picture fantastic we now have a nice list of three commands that we can run very conveniently from the HTTP request shortcuts interface. If you go to the state, we can also long click or long tap on the URL and open it within the Chrome web browser to kind of inspect the images. You know, if you're on site and doing a test, you might want to see the image. You can also tilt it in landscape mode and it looks fantastic. In the next video, we'll show you how to integrate Tasker into this to run the commands in sequence. If you have any questions about the process or comments, just leave a note in the forum. I'll have the link to the discussion and the article from Eric in the description.